one piece of advice that I can offer is that you need to leave plenty of time to move into your van. Now that the van build is done, there's only one thing left to do. Today, I'm moving in. We've all been looking at this same blank slate the entire time I've been building the van. And today, all of that is gonna change. I've been planning out all the colors, brought everything to move into the van. bed's gonna be hard to make. If only we could make this easier. We'll pretend it was that easy. Oh, that'll be nice. It's definitely starting to rain outside, but we'll try and push through anyway. I have a bunch of magnetic hooks that I can use throughout the whole van. I had to get biodegradable soaps so that I could use them in the sink. This is my laundry soap, it smells like lavender. We'll see how it does, but I have an Amazon affiliate link, so if you're interested in this and a lot of the things, I'll go ahead and link them in the description. Got a carbon monoxide alarm and a smoke detector. I need to put those up. My water supply hose. And I have a thing to drain dishes. fire extinguisher. That is going under the sink. I got Velcro for the cushions so they don't fall off. I think I'm going to end up putting them on the pillows as well, but I'm in a hurry so I might do that while I'm on the road. I do really like these plates. I'm taking all of my hiking gear, so a lot of people will recognize this right away as my sleep pad. Everything fits in this tote and in my pack. That's the rug we got at Ikea at least a month ago. This isn't gonna shock anyone, but I don't have enough space for everything. This is where we're at with moving in. I added towels. I have like my smoke detector that still needs to go up, water filter, I have some clothes here. I kind of panicked and brought a lot of clothes so they're under the bed in the back. It'll work out eventually. Feels good to get all of the food moved in. I think tonight for dinner, I'm gonna have a tortilla with peanut butter, the Cheez-Its, Teddy Grahams, anything that's open, easy to grab. We'll go there. If I keep everything kind of tight, it won't get enough momentum when I'm driving to really cause a problem, so that's my goal. This will give me a better idea of what I have on hand when I was getting ready to come here camping. I knew I had some food, but I didn't know what. So I picked up tortillas at the store. I had packed the two soups and the couscous. Now I just need to organize the rest of the closet with some more clothes and some more things I need. Welcome back to the move-in video. I have noticed that this did not go as planned. One piece of advice that I can offer is that you need to leave plenty of time to move into your van. 
everything was going just fine when all of a sudden I had to get on the road. In day two, I was actually in the parking lot at Mammoth Caves National Park. There's a point when somebody actually walked by, looked into the van, and I sheepishly said hi to them. Hello. Hi. I was trying not to draw attention to myself, but it felt really strange to be putting things away in my van in the middle of the parking lot. I know that would become more natural as time goes on, but I wasn't there yet. Now I'm in Arkansas. Yesterday you saw me finally put all the food into the cabinet. Today there are two things I want to show you just to wrap up moving in, and then I'll be able to show you everything in the van tour video. The first thing I want to show you are these curtains. This is just one of the extendable shower curtain rods and blackout curtains. They're white on this side and black to the inside. Of course, this has been nice to block out light in the morning, but also to keep people from looking in the van. Having them closed while driving makes a huge difference on how distracting the van is. If there's a noise back here or anything happening, I don't take the time to look. It's just really nice to have one less thing to worry about. The second thing I wanna show you is my Jackery. Now I do have the solar panel for the Jackery, but what I've been doing is actually charging it while I drive. It comes with this charger that works perfectly with the car. I've been driving a lot of miles, so I've been able to keep it plenty charged. And I can charge it with an electric cord if I have hookup. Now one thing that has been hard is the plugs that I put on my cords were actually too big to fit next to each other in the Jackery. So I'm using a power strip. This is just the power strip that I own. It has worked perfect. You could definitely get a smaller one, but because I already had this one, it was great to reuse it. I can also plug the fan in at the same time. I can use this power strip and add my batteries for the GoPro or my phone. Anything that I need to add, I can put here. When the Jackery is charged for the day, I put it in the back and then I hook the fan and that power strip up. I can leave those plugged in all night to use the outlets and the light switch under the bed. Having the lights on for a little bit at night and having it plugged in all night usually takes 15 to 20% of the battery. From charging my phone, it's about 25% and I've already used this to charge my computer. So far it's been working great. Hopefully that continues as I travel. The display shows how many watts are going in when you charge and how many are coming out when you're using it. I have no doubt that I'll find a better way to store all of those cords, but that's what I have for now. Hopefully you enjoyed the move-in video. Up next, I have the full van tour. So make sure that you click subscribe to see that when it posts. Until then, I have more miles to cover. I'll see you guys on the road.